This is 42-year-old model Irina Dvizova, and this is her 15-year-old daughter and TikTok star Diana. They were found dead in the Turkish city of Bodrum. The killer first shot them and then threw their bodies off a cliff. Why did he kill these two beautiful women? Bodrum is a popular luxury resort in Turkey. Tourists from all over the world come here. There is an excellent warm climate, beautiful nature and, most importantly, it is pretty safe. There are practically no murders or violent attacks on people here. Locals and tourists are accustomed to a quiet life in Bodrum. But in November 2023, everyone was shocked by the terrible murder of two young women. Their bodies were found on a steep slope in Mughla province. They were wrapped in sheets and tied with ropes and then thrown off the cliff. Before this, two women were shot to death. This murder was perhaps the loudest in this small resort town in the last few years. This was a carefully planned attack. The killer acted very professionally. He brutally dealt with two women and then sophisticatedly disposed of the bodies. The police have identified the murdered women. They turned out to be 42-year-old model and businesswoman Irina Dvizova and her 15-year-old daughter Diana. They were citizens of Russia, but in recent years they lived in Lithuania and Turkey. Both women were very beautiful and successful. Irina Dvizova worked as a realtor and was involved in real estate and business investments. She was also the founder of a health complex in the Russian city of Narilsk. Irina offered clients to buy houses in the suburbs of Bodrum for subsequent rental. She also loved to pose for photo shoots. Irina was very beautiful and looked great in photographs. But it was unlikely that this was her job and brought her income. Most likely she simply enjoyed showing off her beauty. She was born and raised in the Russian city of Narilsk. This city is considered one of the most depressing in the world due to its cold climate and lack of sunny days. That is why Irina left this city forever in her youth and went to more southern regions for a better life. She lived in Lithuania long and loved to vacation in Turkey. Irina, who was born and raised in the cold, depressive city of Narilsk, fell in love with sunny Bodrum and felt great there, she once wrote on Instagram. Summer 2022 in Bodrum is coming to an end. This was an exciting attraction, new places, new people, events and impressions, and everything is powerful and natural. To love, to rejoice, to be sad, everything was beyond the power of it. I greatly enjoyed contemplating the landscape, taste and emotions I experienced during this unusual summer. I want to thank everyone who was with me, everyone who shared the delight and sadness. I love everyone. Bodrum is in my heart forever. Irina's daughter, 15-year-old Diana, was similar to her mother in many ways. She was also very beautiful and confident. The girl posted her photos and videos on social media. Her TikTok account had about 30,000 followers. She probably dreamed of becoming a famous media influencer, but her dream did not come true because an unknown killer took the lives of her and her mother. The news of the murder of mom and daughter came as a shock to their relatives. The girls were beautiful and successful with many plans for the future. How unfair it is that such people pass away. Who is this monster who did this? Another question that worries everyone is how this monster entered the territory where Irina lived with her children. Recently, the woman lived in an expensive villa in the elite Acropolis city area of Bodrum. One such estate here costs more than two million dollars. The rent of one such villa daily costs more than one and a half thousand dollars. 
swimming pool, eight rooms, two floors, mountain views. This is luxury housing which is under 24-hour security. Only very rich people live here. Businessmen, artists, stars. Irina was clearly well off and her business was doing well. Indeed, this woman was very wealthy and owned real estate and securities worth about a million dollars. Money is often a motive for murder, and the police immediately put forward this version. But many answers can be found if you find out interesting details about Irina's personal life. The businesswoman rented one of the luxury villas in an elite residential complex, where she lived with her children, her youngest 5-year-old son and 15-year-old daughter, Diana. She also had a 20-year-old son, David, who lives independently and is already quite an adult. About a week before the bodies of Irina and her daughter were discovered in Turkey, relatives contacted the police because the women had had disappeared. Irina's neighbor was the first to sense something was wrong. She could not contact her for three days, so she came to her house and saw the door broken. At first she did not see anything suspicious since the place was clean and tidy. But when she came to inspect the room again, she noticed blood stains on the sofa and the floor. The neighbor immediately called the police, who also found several bullet casings. It immediately became clear that something terrible had happened to the woman and her children, and this was not a random attack by robber or bandit. The attacker acted cunningly and professionally. He carefully hid the traces of the struggle in the house where Irina lived. The police began an investigation and first examined footage from a surveillance camera. They saw a car driving away from Divisova's house. The police followed the vehicle and found the bodies of two women. After examining the bodies, they determined that three bullets were fired at Irina and two shots were fired at her daughter, Diana. But where did Irina's five-year-old son, who always lived with her, go? The boy disappeared without a trace, causing great concern to relatives and the police. Perhaps it was the child and not the money that became the reason for the attack on the woman. The first important question to clarify is who the father of Irina Divisova's children was. She gave birth to her oldest two children, a son David and a daughter Diana from a man of Georgian origin, Otar Uzarashvili. He was a member of the Narilsk city council and a very rich man. Otar owned a large number of shares in the Narilsk nickel company. However, Irina Dvizova was never his wife. The man was married to another woman who bore him two children, and Irina was his mistress. He lived in two families and recognized all his kids. In 2011, the businessman died, and after his death, his wife and mistress divided his inheritance. The children of Irina Dvizova received a large number of shares. Perhaps he gave some of the shares to Irina while still alive. This clarifies the question of where Irina got such a large fortune and how she managed to lead a luxurious life. After the death of Atar Uzarashvili, Irina met a new love. It was a man of Lithuanian origin, Andrei Kuslevich. They were officially married. In this relationship, Irina gave birth to her youngest son. At first, the relationship in this couple was excellent. Irina's older children called Andrei their father. But then he changed a lot. Kuslevich turned out to be rude. He was used to solving problems using brute force. It also turned out that he had a dark past. 2016, Kuslevich worked as the head of the security service in a private company. Police believe he stole a safe containing nearly two million dollars in jewelry. The loss was not noticed immediately, but only at the end of the month. 
The investigation examined the scene and found no signs of forced entry. The head of the security service, Andrei Kuslevich, was under suspicion. The police decided that he had stolen the safe with accomplices. The man fled to Moscow with the stolen diamonds, but there he was detained at Sheremetyevo airport. By court decision he had to be extradited to Lithuania, but in Moscow the criminal managed to escape from the petty wagon and move to Lithuania where he lay low. He met Irina and married her there, but their relationship soon became a nightmare. The man turned out to be an abuser and began to hurt his wife and children. But you have to understand that he was not just an abuser, he was indeed a very dangerous man and a professional killer. Kuslevich once served in the French Foreign Legion. These are the French armed forces which volunteers form from abroad. This suggests that the man who completed this service was very physically resilient and strong, and most importantly he was trained to kill professionally. Thanks to his service, Kuslevich obtained a second French citizenship. Knowing all these facts, that he had problems with the law and was trained to kill professionally, we can conclude that he is very, very dangerous. Irina's oldest son, who witnessed these events, stated that his stepfather often attacked them and even beat them. The guy also published a video on the internet where he captured one of the scandals that occurred in the family. The footage shows that Andrei burst into the room and kicks down the door where Irina hides with her children. Of course, such a life was unbearable for the woman and her kids, so Irina filed for divorce. Later, she demanded that the court deprive the man of parental rights to his son. The fact is that he did not pay child support and did not participate in his life in any way. However, the man did not want to lose his parental rights and wanted to take the boy for himself. This dispute lasted almost three years and was very painful. Irina received many threats from her ex-husband and even decided to run away from him from Lithuania to Turkey, tired of the constant trials. At that time, Irina had a document, a court decision, which prohibited her ex-husband from approaching her. According to eyewitnesses, there were previous cases when Irina's ex-husband had already broken into her house and behaved aggressively. He demanded that the child be given to him and threatened. It would be better for you to die than for me to know that you are somewhere. It is not surprising that, at the moment, the woman's ex-husband, Andrei Kuzlevich, is the main suspect in the murder. According to eyewitnesses, a few days before the murder of Irina and her daughter, Andrei was seen in a store near her villa in Bodrum. The sales assistant said he went into the store alone in the evening, bought cigarettes and left. According to her, he was in a sober and adequate state. Indeed, the investigation established that Kuslevich entered Turkey on November 20th, 2023, in a car with Lithuanian license plates and settled in Bodrum. That is why Irina's oldest son and all her relatives believe that Andrei Kuslevich killed his ex-wife and her daughter. Thanks to his skills, which he acquired in the French Legion, he easily penetrated the well-guarded territory of an elite villa where a woman and children lived. He could not enter the estate through the main entrance, as there was 24-hour security. Irina thought she was safe but did not consider that the man could come down from the mountains as a climber and enter her house. I repeat that this man is very strong, tall and resilient, and it was not difficult for him to do this. Irina's oldest son, David, believes that he did this to kidnap the son. Perhaps he put the boy to sleep and then dealt with his ex-wife, who tried to stop him. But why did he kill 15-year-old Diana? Probably because the girl witnessed this crime and could immediately report it to the police.
Kuslevich needed additional time to cover his tracks and escape from the police with the child. That is why he calmly eliminated the witness, carefully cleaned the house and hid the bodies. Thus, he had a whole week left until no one discovered the double murder. He could leave the country with the boy and hide safely during this time. Of course, until the court decides, we cannot say that he is guilty, but for now, this is the main version of the murder, which looks very plausible. The bodies of Irina Dvizova and her 15-year-old daughter have now been transported to Russia for the funeral. Her ex-husband Andrei Kuslevich and her five-year-old sons whereabouts still are unknown. The police are looking for both of them. The man has two passports, Lithuanian and French, so he can quickly move around the world. According to some media resources, having disposed of the body of his ex-wife and her daughter, he could get to Ankara airport in her car and then flee with his son to Lithuania through France. But where he actually is not yet known. For Irina Dvizova's relatives, her death came as a significant loss. Just a few days before the murder, the woman posted her last photo on Instagram, where she wrote Freedom of action and freedom of thought lead to inner freedom. Do not limit yourself, be free. Many people were jealous of this woman's rich life and beautiful photographs, but there was a lot of pain and secrets behind the gorgeous cover. Her life was probably taken by the person she once considered closest and most beloved. Remember that evil is near, and thanks for watching.